a UFO had reportedly crashed on the Rocky Mesa at Skinwalker Ranch, and as the team neared the strange dome-like structure hidden beneath the surface, their sophisticated equipment began to glitch and fail. For over a month, they had been drilling an eight-inch hole with high-precision instruments, determined to reach the mysterious anomaly first detected in 2021. Recently, their ground-penetrating radar had picked up bizarre geometric shapes beneath the mesa, structures composed of materials strikingly similar to those found in advanced aerospace technology. This discovery fueled the theory that something far more extraordinary was buried deep below. What began as an ordinary day on the ranch quickly took a turn for the uncanny. The crew had assembled their high-tech drilling rig on the mesa, their focus set on reaching the enigmatic dome. This wasn't just any drilling operation. The equipment was outfitted with a cutting-edge monitoring system, sending live data back to a screen on the surface. The team relied on this real-time feedback to ensure they maintained an accurate trajectory as they drilled toward the hidden structure. Every inch they drilled brought them closer to potentially groundbreaking discoveries. For weeks, the system had worked flawlessly, until now. Without warning, the signals that had guided the team suddenly stopped. The screen went blank. With no data on the drill's position or progress, the team was effectively blind to what was happening underground. Frustration turned to concern as they scrambled to troubleshoot the malfunction, but nothing seemed to restore the connection. Then, the ground beneath the mesa began to tremble faintly, almost imperceptibly at first, but soon growing stronger. It wasn't just a typical seismic event. The vibrations seemed localized, originating from the very area they had been drilling toward. As the team stood frozen, watching in confusion, their sensors began to pick up an odd signal, an untraceable frequency emanating from below. It was unlike anything they had encountered before as though some buried technology had been activated in response to their drilling. Puzzled by the sudden signal failure and the strange tremors, the team deployed additional instruments to investigate the underground anomaly further. Thermal cameras detected heat signatures emerging from the dome-like structure and electromagnetic sensors spiked wildly. Something was not only beneath the mesa, it was alive, active, or possibly even sentient. As they resumed drilling, now with more caution, they struck something hard, something metallic. The ground began to pulse with a faint hum, echoing the rhythmic pattern of the strange signal they had detected. The material they had uncovered was unlike anything known to modern science, with a composition that defied explanation. With the layers of mystery deepening, the team realized they were standing at the threshold of a discovery that could forever alter humanity's understanding of the universe. What was once just a series of odd occurrences and UFO sightings had now become a full-scale investigation into a buried technology possibly extraterrestrial, that had been hidden for centuries, lying dormant under the mesa. Whatever was down there, it was now awake. The investigation had reached a critical turning point. With new revelations surfacing, the team had to face an unsettling question. Had they merely stumbled upon an ancient artifact, or had they awakened something far more dangerous? But then, everything took an unexpected and unsettling turn. Just as the drill seemed on the verge of reaching the mysterious dome-shaped structure buried deep underground, the equipment's beacon, responsible for sending crucial signals, suddenly went dark. No data, no readings, nothing. It was as if the drill had plunged into a void, like it had hit some kind of black hole. The crew had been eagerly anticipating the moment when they'd finally uncover what was hidden beneath that strange dome. For weeks, they had painstakingly drilled through the tough layers of the mesa, battling constant technical issues as they got closer to the target. But something was clearly interfering with their progress. The once steady signal from the beacon began to fluctuate wildly, erratically jumping from one reading to another. It felt as though something down below was actively disrupting their equipment, an unseen force playing with their technology. Amidst the growing confusion, the drill operator made a worrying observation. He could no longer pinpoint the exact location of the drill head. They were effectively flying blind, unable to tell where the drill had gone or what it was encountering beneath the dense, uncharted layers of the mesa. The situation was growing more bizarre by the minute, as the team prepared to clear the debris pit, hoping to find some clue as to what they had unearthed, one crew member made an even stranger discovery. Among the materials they had dug up, Eric noticed something out of place. Near the drill site, he spotted a rock, but this was no ordinary rock. It was green, with an unusual texture, unlike anything he had seen before. Curiosity peaked, Eric reached down and touched it. To his shock, the rock squished under his fingers, soft and pliable like jelly. 
This baffling find immediately caught the attention of the rest of the crew. It didn't fit with any known geological formations in the area, and it was nothing like the solid, dense earth and stone they'd been drilling through. Jared, another team member, joined Eric to inspect the strange object. After examining it, he confirmed what everyone was beginning to suspect. It wasn't part of their equipment, and it certainly wasn't a normal rock. This mysterious, jelly-like substance was something entirely foreign, defying their expectations and adding another layer of intrigue to an already perplexing situation. What was this odd material? And more importantly, what did it signify about the strange dome they were so close to reaching? Whatever they had just discovered, it felt like they were on the cusp of something monumental, a hidden truth buried beneath Skinwalker Ranch, waiting to be revealed. As you reached for a storage bag from the nearby shelf, your thoughts raced, swirling with questions about the strange jelly-like substance in front of you. Was it just an odd quirk of the earth, or was there something more to it? Something alive, perhaps? It felt almost wrong to simply pack it away, like it was just another sample. This was something entirely different, something that seemed to defy explanation. You carefully placed the strange, gelatinous rock into the bag, all the while contemplating its potential significance. Could this be a piece of a long-buried secret, something that had been hidden beneath the mesa for millennia? The thrill of possibly uncovering something unknown, something that could reshape understanding, was electric. Plans were immediately made to send the sample to specialists for detailed analysis. Was this a natural phenomenon or something even more extraordinary, something otherworldly? As you sealed the bag, the endless possibilities began to race through your mind. This green jelly-like substance could be the key to a groundbreaking discovery about Earth's geology, or maybe, just maybe, it could hold clues to something beyond our planet. With every strange find, your curiosity deepened, drawing you further into the enigmatic mysteries surrounding Skinwalker Ranch and the hidden world beneath its surface. What could this jelly reveal about the history, or even the future of this land? The quest for answers had only just begun. On what started as an ordinary excavation day, Travis and Caleb stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. Typically, their digs unearthed the usual suspects, layers of brown clay and rock, but today was anything but typical. As they dug deeper, a flash of color caught their attention. Pushing aside the soil, they uncovered a jelly-like substance gleaming beneath the dirt. Shades of pink and green stood out vividly against the usual dull earth tones. The substance had a mesmerizing vibrancy, something neither of them had ever seen before. The contrast was striking. This wasn't just another day at the ranch. The discovery marked a turning point. What was this substance? Could it be connected to the strange occurrences on the ranch, or was it an entirely new type of material? The bright colors, the soft texture, the sheer oddity of it all, it was clear that this find would lead to questions no one was prepared for. As the team prepared to delve deeper into the mystery, the excitement grew. This jelly-like substance might hold the answers to something far bigger than they had ever imagined. What it would reveal, no one yet knew, but one thing was certain, the journey to uncover the truth beneath Skinwalker Ranch had only just begun. The discovery of these colorful, gelatinous materials completely shifted the atmosphere of the dig. What was once a routine excavation now felt like the beginning of something far more mysterious and exciting. The substances weren't just visually striking. They hinted at the possibility of something organic, perhaps even alive, buried deep beneath the layers that usually yielded only solid rock and clay. The notion that they might have uncovered something entirely new to science lit a fire of curiosity in both Travis and Caleb. Determined to dive deeper, they methodically sifted through the already excavated piles of earth, Every shovel of soil felt like it might hold the key to unraveling this mystery. With each new fragment of the colorful, jelly-like substance, their anticipation grew. What were these peculiar materials? Were they remnants of an ancient, unknown biological life form, or perhaps evidence of some long-lost interaction with otherworldly forces? The possibilities were dizzying. The vibrant colors, pink and green, stood out against the dull browns and grays of the mesa soil as if painting a hidden narrative beneath the earth. The questions kept mounting. What was the origin of these substances? How long had they been buried here? What could they reveal about the unexplained phenomena on the ranch? This once ordinary day had transformed into something remarkable, filled with the promise of uncovering something truly extraordinary. 
and it wasn't just the jelly-like material that piqued their interest. Just days earlier, the team had discovered an oddly preserved piece of wood, buried deep in the sediment, another anomaly in a place where such finds were rare, if not impossible. The wood, combined with the strange, colorful jelly, had them wondering what else might be waiting to be found in the layers below. As the dig continued, the team's excitement grew. The ranch had always been a place of intrigue, but now it felt like they were on the verge of something unprecedented. What other surprises could be hiding beneath the surface, waiting to reveal secrets that might change everything they thought they knew about Skinwalker Ranch, and the mysteries that lay beneath it? The discovery of the unusual piece of wood beneath the mesa compelled the team to dig deeper, both literally and figuratively. The eerie silence of the vast ranch, combined with the unanswered questions swirling around this peculiar find, heightened the tension. This was no ordinary piece of wood. It wasn't rough or weathered like the natural debris they might have expected. Instead, it bore marks that seemed intricately carved, or perhaps shaped by some kind of advanced tool or machine. Its appearance, in an area with no known history of mining or tunneling, only fueled the speculation. Was this wood evidence of a hidden tunnel system beneath the mesa? Or was it something even more ancient and mysterious? hinting at long-lost civilizations or secretive activities that had taken place beneath the surface. These thoughts drove the team's decision to press forward, digging deeper into the heart of the mesa, each shovel of earth bringing them closer to unlocking the puzzle. The wood felt like a tangible connection to something forgotten, a hidden history that had somehow survived beneath layers of rock and soil. It was a puzzle piece, waiting to reveal the bigger picture. To crack the mystery, the team reached out to Dr. Powers, a renowned archaeologist from the University of Utah. They carefully packaged the wood samples and sent them off for detailed analysis, hoping that carbon dating or microscopic examination might offer clues to the wood's age and origin. Could it be from an ancient civilization, or was it linked to a more recent, undiscovered chapter of history? As the day for the results approached, the anticipation among the team grew. Everyone knew that the findings could potentially reshape their entire understanding of what lay beneath the mesa. Gathering around for the video call with Dr. Powers, the atmosphere buzzed with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The digital screen in front of them wasn't just a connection to an academic. It was a gateway to knowledge that could unlock new realms of understanding, shedding light on the mysterious history of Skinwalker Ranch. With the click of a button, the call was initiated. Everyone leaned in, waiting for the first words that could change everything. Would the wood reveal a simple answer, or had they unearthed something far more profound, perhaps even something that tied into the countless strange events reported on the ranch for decades? The team was on the edge of a discovery, and whatever lay ahead, they knew it would be significant. As Dr. Powers began sharing his findings, everyone leaned in closer, eager to absorb every detail. Each piece of information felt vital, as if it were a key to unlocking the hidden history beneath the ranch. What had started as a simple inquiry had now evolved into an exhilarating exploration, aimed at uncovering the past of this enigmatic place. Dr. Powers explained that the examination of the peculiar wood sample began with a piece that had been retrieved from a spoil pile. It underwent a series of rigorous tests and imaging techniques. The team watched intently as he described the process of observing the wood under various lighting conditions and magnifying it using advanced imaging technology. Intriguing structures began to emerge, revealing secrets that had long been hidden from view. Under magnification, the wood displayed pore-like formations within its texture, suggesting an extraordinary biological trait. These pores indicated a specific type of plant life, one often characterized by significant spore production and adaptations suited for aquatic environments. Dr. Powers elaborated on the implications of these findings, explaining that the arrangement and characteristics of the pores led researchers to hypothesize that the wood might have originated from a water-dwelling plant. This assumption stemmed from a comparative analysis with known samples of aquatic plants, which exhibited similar structural features. The discovery opened up an entirely new line of inquiry about the history of the site. What could it mean for the ecosystem that once thrived here? Was there a time when the area now known as Skinwalker Ranch was part of a larger aquatic habitat? The possibilities seemed endless. The team was captivated. Each new detail connected dots they hadn't even known existed. The implications of a water-dwelling plant residing beneath the mesa raised profound questions about the geological and environmental history of the region. It suggested that the landscape may have undergone significant transformations over time, 
possibly linked to the strange phenomena reported at the ranch. With each revelation from Dr. Powers, their excitement intensified. What other secrets lay buried beneath the surface? What stories could this ancient plant life tell about the forces that shaped the land? The quest for knowledge had become a thrilling adventure into the unknown, with the potential to rewrite the narrative of Skinwalker Ranch forever. The team felt a renewed sense of purpose, ready to dive deeper into their investigation, driven by the understanding that they were on the cusp of something extraordinary. You know how sometimes you come across something odd and can't quite figure out how it got there? That's exactly what happened here. We stumbled upon a chunk of a water plant in a location where it doesn't seem to belong. This discovery raises a host of intriguing questions. What's really fascinating is that the type and structure of this wood indicate it came from a completely different environment, suggesting that significant changes occurred in this area long ago. Or just maybe, this piece of plant life made its way here through an unusual process that we can't yet explain. Uncovering the origins of this plant could shed light on the historical climate and geography of the region. As we dig deeper into studying this seemingly small piece of vegetation, we hope it will provide us with more clues. It feels like we're slowly piecing together a larger story from the past, each fragment helping us reconstruct the ancient world that existed right beneath our feet. Though it might appear to be a minor, unremarkable piece of wood, it could hold the key to epic tales about lakes or rivers that once flowed through this area but have long since vanished. By staying committed to our research and studies, we aim to weave together these narratives, which could enhance our understanding of how the Earth's ecosystems and landscapes have evolved over millennia. Every examination, every test, and every piece of information we gather brings us one step closer to revealing the intricate history of this land. The potential stories locked within this wood could illuminate past climates, ecological shifts, and even the creatures that once inhabited these now forgotten waters. It's an exciting journey into the past and we're determined to follow the clues wherever they may lead, uncovering the rich tapestry of life that once thrived here. Now, let's talk about what the researchers are up to. They're delving into ancient fragments of plants. These bits, which seem to have existed for eons, were unearthed in a rubble-filled area within the mesa. The way these fragments are structured hints at a vast, untold history lying beneath, waiting to be explored. Just when they thought things couldn't get any stranger, an unexpected discovery, a gooey substance, prompted even more questions. Hashtag strange goo found underground. While examining a peculiar spot on the ground, one of the scientists stumbled upon a bizarre gooey substance that didn't align with their expectations based on the area's historical context. Intrigued, they collected a small sample of this goo to analyze under a microscope. To their surprise, the goo turned out to be a striking green color igniting a flurry of questions about its origin and composition. The realization that it was unlike anything they had anticipated pushed them to dig even deeper. Initially, they speculated that the green hue might be indicative of algae, but so far, they haven't been able to confirm this theory. The research team remains focused on understanding what this unusual green substance reveals about the ancient environment in which it was found. As they examine the algae's peculiar coloration, it became evident that these were not the typical greens you would expect to see in most plants. Driven by curiosity, they prepared a detailed slide for the microscope. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that the slimy coating of the goo had broken down over time, leaving behind only hard remnants. These weren't just any remnants. They were tiny, charred fragments of plant material. This revelation opened up a new avenue of investigation, suggesting that, whatever the goo was, it may have been linked to a fire or a significant environmental event that altered the landscape. The presence of these burned plant bits raised intriguing questions about what might have transpired in this area ages ago. Were these remnants evidence of a once thriving ecosystem that was ultimately consumed by fire? Or could they point to some other form of disturbance that left its mark on the land? Each layer of discovery reveals more complexities, hinting at a rich tapestry of history waiting to be unraveled. The researchers are determined to uncover the secrets held within this goo and the burned plant fragments as they continue their quest to piece together the narrative of the ancient world that existed beneath the mesa. Finding these burned fragments mixed in with the algae was a surprising twist that prompted deeper reflection on their origins and the circumstances that led to their presence in the first place. Understanding the fire that scorched these plants could provide valuable insights into the geological and ecological history of the area. 
it raises questions about how frequently fires occur here and what role they play in shaping the landscape. The discovery of burned plant material adds complexity to their study, highlighting the unpredictable and dynamic nature of natural environments. This reinforces the need for continued excavation to uncover the full story of what transpired deep within the mesa and how those events influenced everything around it. At Skinwalker Ranch, there's a palpable buzz surrounding the team's recent findings. Using ground-penetrating radar, they discovered strange shapes beneath the mesa that could potentially be metal tunnels. This revelation is puzzling, especially since devices like GPS have been malfunctioning, suggesting that something unusual is interfering with the signals underground. During a significant drilling operation near a location dubbed the Triangle Zone, some team members even reported tasting metal in their mouths. This bizarre experience might be linked to electromagnetic activity or other strange phenomena occurring at the site. These factors, combined with the erratic behavior of their gadgets, have sparked big questions about what might be hidden below. As the team drilled deeper, they encountered various challenges, including erratic equipment and core samples revealing unexpected empty spaces or peculiar materials. These hurdles forced the team to rethink their safety protocols and reassess their plans. However, rather than dampening their spirits, these complications have only heightened the excitement surrounding their research at Skinwalker Ranch. There's a growing sense among the team that they are on the verge of uncovering even more remarkable discoveries as they venture further into the unknown. Adding to the team's momentum is Callista's new sensor, which has significantly enhanced their data collection efforts. This advanced technology allows them to gather more precise information about their surroundings, giving them a clearer picture of the hidden complexities beneath the mesa. As they continue to dig and explore, the team remains optimistic that they are inching closer to unraveling the mysteries that have captivated their curiosity and sparked intrigue for generations. The convergence of strange findings, unexpected phenomena, and cutting-edge technology sets the stage for groundbreaking revelations about Skinwalker Ranch and the secrets buried beneath its surface. In the bustling command center, where all the action unfolds, the atmosphere was charged with excitement as everyone anticipated the arrival of a new team member. Callista Taylor, a bright and eager young scientist, was joining the crew to assist in data collection during the ongoing drilling efforts. With her dad already part of the team, Callista had grown up immersed in a world of science, and this opportunity to actively participate in fieldwork felt like a dream come true. Callista came prepared, ready to unveil her innovative sensor, a project she had been diligently working on. She meticulously designed, tested, and programmed it, incorporating a multitude of sensors housed within two compact computers. This advanced device is capable of tracking their geographical location with GPS, measuring altitude using pressure sensors, and detecting movement through an accelerometer. The potential for mapping and understanding their environment was immense. Currently in her second year of studying electrical engineering, Callista was inspired to embark on this project after her dad suggested it as a way to contribute to the team's research. Her focus was on creating a sensor that could monitor various environmental factors, including location, air pressure, temperature, and moisture levels. By analyzing the data collected from these sensors, she aimed to uncover intricate patterns in nature that might otherwise go unnoticed. As the team prepared for their next test, they were unaware of just how much Callista's new sensor would revolutionize their understanding of the site. Her enthusiasm and innovative approach brought a fresh perspective to the group, infusing the atmosphere with a sense of optimism and potential. With every measurement and data point collected, Callista's sensor promised to unravel new layers of complexity, ultimately reshaping their theories and insights about what lay beneath the surface of Skinwalker Ranch. As they geared up for the challenges ahead, the team couldn't help but feel that Callista's contributions would lead them into uncharted territories of discovery. Eager to see how her new technology performed in the field, Callista planned a meeting with Caleb, another tech enthusiast on the team, for some hands-on testing. Their goal was to gather real-time data to better understand their environment. With the sensor's capabilities, they were excited about delving deep into the intricacies of nature, transforming each test into a valuable opportunity for discovery. Just a stone's throw away from the drilling site, they connected Callista's sensor pack device to Jim Ryan's large drone. The drone was set to soar over the east field, where they hoped to detect any unusual phenomena from the air, and perhaps even beneath the ground. Given the strange occurrences they had been observing in the sky, they were curious whether these anomalies were linked to what lay below. 
This aerial test was crucial for piecing together the puzzle. Simultaneously, the team decided to launch rockets to investigate some of the peculiar happenings they had noticed overhead. Eric remained in the control room, intently monitoring an array of high-tech equipment, including a spectrum analyzer, various signal detectors, and several surveillance cameras. As Caleb received the green light, he initiated the countdown, his voice steady as he counted down the last few seconds. With a whoosh, the rockets launched into the night, slicing through the air with purpose. Almost immediately, the team spotted something strange. A flashing object flickered in the sky, starkly visible against the dark backdrop of night. Initially, they speculated it might be an aircraft, but it quickly became clear that this pulsating light was unlike any typical plane. The sight introduced a captivating twist into their scientific endeavors. Positioned toward the southwestern part of the sky, the mysterious flickering object illuminated brightly, then faded out, repeating this cycle like a game of cosmic hide-and-seek. Someone hastily grabbed a walkie-talkie, urgently calling out, Walkie, 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 in an attempt to alert others on the line. Meanwhile, at a distant drilling location, an unfamiliar light appeared in the sky, causing confusion among the crew. It started as an intense glow before dimming abruptly, possibly obscured by passing clouds. However, Travis, watching from another vantage point, could still catch intermittent flashes of brightness, indicating that this was no fleeting illusion. As the team continued their observations, the excitement grew, each new finding hinting at the incredible mysteries waiting to be unraveled above and below Skinwalker Ranch. The convergence of Callista's new sensor technology, the rocket launches, and the unexplainable aerial phenomena set the stage for groundbreaking revelations, igniting their collective curiosity and determination to uncover the truth hidden in the depths of the ranch. The excitement among the crew was palpable as curiosity surged, prompting them to suggest launching another rocket to provoke a response from the unidentified object now hovering in the sky. While preparations were underway, an unexpected development occurred. A large, round object appeared, completely absent from any known aircraft registry. This mystery only heightened the urgency of their mission. To gather as much information as possible, they deployed a drone outfitted with Callista's advanced sensor aiming to collect critical data in the vicinity of the anomaly. Back at base, the team focused on analyzing the three-dimensional data, particularly honing in on the drone's GPS coordinates. However, the results were perplexing. The drone wasn't starting from the anticipated launch point. As they delved deeper into the data, further anomalies emerged. Height readings indicated that the drone was flying much lower than its intended altitude and a sudden drop in the readings flagged something unusual occurring over East Canyon, a location known for its bizarre readings in the past. The revelations from Callista's sensor heightened the team's collective excitement and urgency to investigate the situation more thoroughly. The weird lights and erratic sensor data drove them to dig deeper into the mystery. Approaching the East Field, the team encountered more strange phenomena, reminiscent of previous discoveries. Unknown objects, darted through the mesa toward the triangle-shaped zone. Determined to keep track of everything, they successfully captured data and video footage that same night as they moved closer to the triangle. For decades, reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, had circulated, particularly those shaped like triangles. Eyewitness accounts consistently described their movements as unlike any conventional aircraft, exhibiting agility and speed that defied explanation. A notable instance occurred in Belgium from 1989 to 1990, when numerous witnesses, including police, reported sightings of triangular UFOs. The Belgian Air Force attempted to intercept them, only to find that the objects moved with incredible velocity and could change direction in an instant. Such reports weren't confined to Belgium. Similar sightings had been documented across various parts of the United States. As the team grappled with these extraordinary encounters, they pondered the possibility that the events unfolding at Skinwalker Ranch could be linked to a hidden extraterrestrial base or perhaps something even more. Astonishing yet to be uncovered. The questions loomed large. What lay beneath the surface of the ranch, and what mysteries did the skies hold? With every new piece of data, the thrill of exploration deepened. Share your thoughts below. Could there be a connection to a hidden base, or something even more unbelievable? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates as we continue to unravel the enigmas of Skinwalker Ranch. 
that the event